All right, everyone. It is me, <coughs> Johnson Chan. And of course, as soon as I start talking, uh, my throat starts acting up. It's very annoying. Uh, but you know, oh well, that's how it goes. Anyway, I actually forgot to uh, check the Google Trends for this, so yeah. So I actually woke up quite early today, but you know, I had to uh, check my websites, make sure I got the psych naps and all that other crap working. Uh, I don't remember what else I was thinking about. Oh yeah, I was thinking about the future, you know, the politics show, the stupid asshole election. Like, I, I really cannot wait for this asshole election to be over so we can get back to normal, right? I mean, things won't technically go back to normal fully. I don't know why this thing continues to load. Everything's working. Um, but with that being said, <clears throat> you know, I don't want you know the market to go back up. The problem is, though, the people that are in control of the world are deliberately crashing the economy, which is just completely fucking everything up, especially cryptocurrency. So who knows when the hell this thing will go up? Uh, in fact, maybe it'll just artificially keep it suppressed forever. I mean, that's certainly possible. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, and uh, Spotify is now censoring Joe Rogan, too, after uh, locking him in with his uh, multi-year contract and just deleting, like, Owen Benjamin and Joe Rogan guests and a bunch of other... Oh, Sargon of Akkad and a bunch of other controversial people. And uh, it just goes to show that, like, you know, it, it's just utterly ridiculous. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, we'll see what well, we'll see what Nick Fuentes and the Grippers can do. But I mean, as usual, I'm always like still like, hmm, well, they can take power, but can they hold it? You know, it's like taking power is one thing, right? You know, the history of Rome has always been filled with that. But can they hold power? You know, that, that that's the thing. I think my problem is I can hold power, but I cannot take power, right? And I'm trying to work on that. So hopefully, you know, and I think like I think my trademarks are actually done. Because I've been getting the emails from the U.S. Patent Office thing, uh, so I'm probably gonna wait until I actually get the formal letter. Because supposedly, because I, because I get, now I'm getting the spam emails, which the Patent Office warned me would happen. But I have to file a patent, so what are you gonna do? Uh, and one of the spam emails from a pretty attractive lawyer, white girl chick, which you know I have to admit, like just don't do, just don't deal with female uh, lawyers. Um, because if she decides to divorce you, she probably knows a lot about the law than you than I do. So yeah, yeah I think you can figure out the math on that one. And um, what you call it? Her spam email said that I would get some sort of feedback from the patent office in like two, three uh, weeks that I had to respond to. But I think that's just like a boilerplate thing. Because if I had to respond to it, they would have just said so in the email. But they didn't say anything I had to respond to. They just said, "Oh yeah, here is the stuff we assigned you." Uh, so I don't know. So I'm gonna get the letter of acknowledgement. That's that's really what I'm waiting for. I assume that's what they're gonna send me because in copyright, uh, that's what the U.S. Copyright Office sends. So I can't imagine the trademark site uh, the office is gonna be any different. Uh, yeah, and I can actually start showing my shit around, and which is gonna be kind of nice. I can also start, you know, uh, posting on my video game company too. Uh, I already have the Twitter account made for it. So Bitcoin searches for this week are 10. Uh, I didn't even do any real research at all. You know, I've been thinking about crypto. So, but we'll just get to it. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, let's see. So 24 million is 142, 143 million coin market cap. So that's pretty high. Uh, CoinGecko will say around 99 uh, bil uh, billion? billion. Yeah, 99 billion. I don't know why. I, only, I might have a brain fart today. So it's 99 billion. So there's a lot of money shuffling around for some reason. Prices were going down. So not only did Bitcoin almost breach 12k, but it immediately went down, and I don't know why this thing's not rendering correctly. Yeah, 54.89% Bitcoin down, so that's good. Um, Bitcoin itself, 11,371. Litecoin, $58.38, which is great because I actually sold them was at 62 bucks a pop, so for, for for US cash. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, Dogcoin, where's Dogcoin? Ah, oh, here's Dogcoin. Uh, Doggy Coin is at 389.59 million market cap, so it's actually very good. It, it's kind of really annoying me because a lot of, the economy is shot to shit, but all the money is going into these big asshole corporations. That's why the markets are still going up. It's like it's like a really huge scam. It's just so aggravating. But here's the thing: what can the little guy really do? They don't actually provide anything of value anymore than like automation and 
robotics and, of course, Im uh, illegal immigrants and or just immigration in general cannot provide uh, uh, and do it cheaper. You know, it, it's just like you know, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so I don't really want to read any of these stupid headlines. Uh, payrolls in August miss expectations sharply. Yeah, so like this is exactly what's going on. All the money's transferring to the evil rich people, the big corporations, big tech, and then just the little guys getting screwed. You know, you can see that right here. Uh, Evan's going up at least. Uh, JMC coins at six to seven. So I don't really know what's going on with crypto. Everything's being pumped and then dumped like crazy. So I don't know. I think everyone's just dumping everything they can, just going into cash and buying up like stocks and shit. 404 coin is going to be 59 to 60. Uh, so, again, not too much there. 2x2 two two coin continues to get hammered, so it's still 10 to 11. At least it's stable for now, but I'm pretty sure eventually it's just going to tank again, you know, especially now that Mitch has just disappeared. Uh, Rex, uh, as, I'm ex as I expected, you know, 40, it's really 43 to like 47. It's going to go back down uh, and crash yet again. So, there's like nothing fundamentally different. Uh, I feel sorry for the idiot that like bought up to like 860. I definitely wish I could have sold all my Rex coins at that price and then just exit that thing. 100 coin, uh, there's still not a lot of activity. Um, just, I guess, because uh, I cut off all the marketing because I just don't see what's what's the point. Um, so it, it's just going to naturally get, you know, a reputation on its own, which means everything's going to be slow. It's at 26 to 35 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. I actually did it, uh, it'll be higher though. This is actually my order up here at 39.9, basically 40 Satoshi, 40 Satoshi of Bitcoin. Because usually there's always a big buy wave at like a certain hour, which isn't within the next few hours. So I usually wait for that just to see. But there's obviously a very big gap because liquidity is still a problem. And I'm obviously deliberately not selling that many coins, if at all. I actually haven't sold shit uh, for days. Uh, also, I need to look at my money situation too, so it's like I kind of do need to sell pretty soon. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's getting more stable, it's getting stronger, I'm getting more interest, so you know, eventually 100 coin will be solid. Uh, speed coin, I'm still trying to figure out what the real price on this is. Uh, we're getting warmer too, so people, because I'm seeing more buys at like mid 500, so I think maybe around 400 is the real price of speed coin, which still sucks because this should be way higher, but you know, what are you going to do? Like right now, like cryptocurrencies is completely like in a dysfunctional state of flux. It's like I have no idea what the hell's going on. Um, but all I know is everyone, all I know is evil rich people are draining everything and giving themselves all the money. And there's nothing we could do about it. And it's very like, you know, pisses me off, but nothing I can do. And thank you to that one extra person that subscribed. So, uh, I don't know, I think we're all going to be getting quite acquainted because we're all going to be kind of homeless. Though I'll probably be the king of the homeless people, but I'm still going to be homeless. You know, kind of like, you know, winning the Special Olympics. Well, you're still special, even if you win. So, did you really win? Uh, yes, Bitcoin news is also pretty slow, too. I mean, I'm going to refresh this again. I already, yeah, like there's actually nothing here. Uh, yeah, cryptocurrency news is just very slow. I mean, yesterday was pretty good, and today is slow. Uh, yeah, we never look at that. People always make wild-ass predictions. Uh, let's see, all my EverQuest stuff is going fine. Hey, my research. Oh, I have to actually get more of this stuff. All right. Uh, utility fork launching in December. Here's how. Okay, I don't care. Ethereum-based crypto standard, FYI, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, to be, believe it or not, I think this whole, actually, I wouldn't mind a short video yesterday, or today, because yesterday I actually worked really hard, surprisingly, I finished the models for the, you know, your turrets and units. Uh, I even replaced the projectiles, so now it looks really cool. Uh, so all I have to do left is touch up the perk descriptions, uh, replace the enemy models, and then update the uh, icons, and then I can work on save, and then we're done. And it's just like, uh, release the game. Crypto strategist, greedy dicks, DeFi, Unicorn, UI, file will outrun Bitcoin. Yeah. Venture Cow, Giant Mark and Jane joins Bitcoin. Mark Andreessen. Wait, the got the got the, the co-founder of Bitcoin? Oh, we're gonna read that. Because we don't actually have anything to read here. <clears throat> really? Straw sell the US dollar strong 
and then buy crypto even though we can clearly see the opposites happening like i i could definitely i can definitely tell you this is this is evil rich people manipulating shit um so it's uh it's it's really aggravating so right now trump's uh, actually still fluctuating between seven and eleven percent it was actually eleven percent right before i hit the record but now it's at like ten percent so things are going crazy right now uh i actually already looked at trump's twitter uh just just really nothing just really nothing so uh nothing good but nothing bad so it's just like i mean a lot can happen in the next two months right before uh you know because our election is november 3rd today's september 2nd so i don't know that's like what 62 61 62 61 more days venture capital giant mark adrena joins coinbase um Okay, Mark and Junior coming over. They created this prayer to go public. The appointment of Mark and Junior coming was announced uh, and co founder Benjamin. Okay. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Anyone was an early advocate of cryptocurrency and a long standing advisor of Silicon Valley's most successful executive, co founder of the premier pioneering firm, Andreessen Horowitz. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. Wait, he ran his own VC. Considering one of the crypto industry's largest investment backers, Andreessen Horowitz raised 25 mil to expand Coinbase's Bitcoin wallet and merchant services back in 2013. In March of this year, the firm secured 515 million to invest in crypto tech. Wow. An investing creator, he is one of the few to pioneer a software carrier used by more than a billion people and one even a fewer to establish multi billionaire companies. Mark co created the highly influential Mosaic Internet Browser and co founded Netscape. Is this the same Mark Andreessen as the Bitcoin co-founder, or do they just happen to be two different people, the same name? I, uh, he also co-founded Loud Cloud, Opsware, and sold the Hewlett Packard. He later started Hewlett Packard from 2008 to 2018. Welcome to the board after Mark uh, Rishabha, Chris, to go. It's a great man, Stepia is Google veteran and DoorDash executive. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Welcome to... Welcome to the after a board that saw Chris Dixon and Barry Schuler stepping down is Google veteran and DoorDash executive Gogol Rajaram. I think that's an Indian name. Ah, wow. So Brian Armstrong, the guy who owns Coinbase, is you know really uh is really work is really working hard on that shit. Okay. Julian Ram bring a lot of that will put to use the benefit of our customers and the broader community. Uh can we wait to the last value at eight billion? Yeah, I mean, especially I don't like the censorship. Yeah, I mean, I could buy. Uh, would it make sense to buy shares of Coinbase and then short it when the Bitcoin bull run is, you know, in a few years from now is about to burst? Would that actually work? But the thing is, Coinbase is a neutral platform. There'd be no reason to. <sighs> It's definitely something on what I have to definitely keep an eye on. So we'll have Eben and we'll definitely have Coinbase. Because um, Coinbase is actually not a cryptocurrency. It's a cryptocurrency exchange. It's actually different. So this, so Coinbase would be much more likely to have uh, put and call options. And that's what we want. Because I really don't want us to be using Ledger X. Well, I'll still use it. But um, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. Nice short day. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JFC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. I definitely should have just taken control of all the social media and not let Mitch have done it because I would have had like a couple thousand subscribers now instead of just starting from scratch like over here. But oh well, what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do today for work, because um, I was trying to like submit a site map and I had a bunch of pages, but then it turns out I don't have to do all that crazy work because, you know, the dev actually got back to me, so. I don't know, uh, maybe I'll work on my game today, I do have it open. Oh, that's right, I have it open because I wanted to, oh yeah, because there's a problem with the hit effect, it's like too big, and I can't figure out how to make it smaller, that's the only thing. So, I don't know, maybe I'll work on that and then, um, yeah, but um, yeah, I'm going to try to relax and then just try to concentrate on money making. Let's go back to over here, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I mean, right now the ball's in the evil, uh, evil rich people's court, so I don't know. 
Uh, but with that being said, you know, we'll, uh, we'll endure as always, and you know, I'll still be fine. You know, I'll still have money. You know, I can last for at least another couple of years. But that's the thing. What if this doesn't go up for the next couple of years? You know, I can't just go out and get a job because there are no more jobs. Right? The economy, sh the economy shut down. So uh, I don't know. But by that, but but well, by then the stupid, the stupid asshole election will finally be over, and then we can finally have some stability. And Trump's actually going to go ham. I'm one hundred. I'm, I'm like ninety nine percent sure Trump's going to finally go ham and put all this bullshit to rest. He just can't do that now because he needs the vote, so he can't come off as crazy and dictor uh, dictate dictator dictatorial i think that's really the word dictatorial i don't know something like that yeah so anyway we'll see anyway uh see you all in tomorrow's video thanks for watching and always remember johnson chan jmc coin a 404 coin speed coin and um i mean i'm going really slow at speed in 100 coin like uh unlike these other coins because i want stability so it just means I'm going to have to delay uh, money making, right? Because I think rushing is just going to be a uh, nut. Because I actually want to try not rushing for once in my life in something like this. See how it goes, you know? So far, I, you know, it's not the best results, but it's definitely not bad. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, and I've got uh, coinenrich.com. Like, hopefully the site map that I got for it and submitted to Google um, Webmaster Tools will help things a lot. Because... If we can, if I can get this site indexed in all these pages, because because um, these pages are not indexing properly on Google because of the way the plugin works, but now that it is, um, I th uh, if if we can get a bunch of free traffic to here, which is basically what I want, because I'm because I've been thinking, I'm spending all this money on like marketing and whatever. It's like it's so much easier just to have your own marketing platform, which is what I've always been trying to do, but it's just so hard. Right, but now that I've been doing computer programming for like several months now, now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need to change the logic of how I'm thinking about the problem overall. So you know, so so people come here and go like Ethereum prices, but then they'll see these coins up here, like oh, free shit, right? And that's part. That's exactly what I want. So now, so instead of paying for marketing, I get it for free. You know, that's that, that's the nice thing about a big corporation, right? Because once you're big enough, then you never have to do marketing, really, or very little. Right? Everyone just knows you, right? Amazon ha doesn't even spend any money on marketing, right? Uh, oh, well, here's our thumbnail. Uh, it's a really bad thumbnail, but whatever.